turn my mic on. Hey guys, uh, let me show you something here that I think you're going to find very useful. As you can see, I've got an instance of uh, Dimension Pro, a cakewalk synthesizer for my piano sound. And sometimes you just want to layer synthesizer parts together so what well, let's go ahead and do that i'm going to pull uh, another cakewalk and i'm just going to pull it into another track here and let's grab a pad let's just grab a uh, regular pad I'm going to change that to something else. And of course I can adjust the volume. But since I'm listening to both synthesizers at once... And that works pretty good, but let me just show you, show you something that uh, may actually be a little bit more useful and come in handy here. I'm just going to go ahead and remove that instrument and track. And excuse my furnace just kicked on, but that's what you get with a home studio. <laughs> uh, let's just take that same Rapture Pro and I'm going to just drag it right onto the same track as my Dimension Pro piano. You notice I can replace, keep, or combine. If I replace it, I'm just going to get the Rapture Pro on there and my piano is gone. Uh, let's just go to combine and you'll see what happens here. And there you go. You open up the Persona Splitter. And so now I have the Rapture Pro and I want to go ahead and click on that and let's pick out uh, that pad again. What do we have? We had that huge pad. And let me show you that uh, here with the Rapture Pro, you've got its own volume. Excuse me. Where it's really low. And then same if you click on the Dimension Pro, and you can see I change colors if you want to do that too. Um, but if I wanted to blend them more together again here, now when I'm playing my controller keyboard, And I can even do things like with the Rapture Pro, let's just take that up an octave. Let's go up 12. And that all sounds good and well, but let's uh, let's keep going here. And you can do this as much as your computer will allow before it starts to whimper. And I'm just going to take another Rapture Pro and let's just throw it on the same track. And instead of replacing, let's combine it and watch this. And there it is. Now I've got a totally another instance of Rapture Pro in the splitter. All that can be controlled here. And let's go ahead and pick out a... Oh, what do we want to get here? Let's try something excellent. Let's try a sitar. And we'll pull that back in to blend in. We'll keep the piano as the main instrument, but we're trying to layer. Bring up the second instance of Rapture Pro. And so, if you don't want to eat up a bunch of tracks, but you still like the layering, this is a good way to do it. Still gives you some flexibility, without a doubt. In fact, let me just pull this down an octave, and let's just see how that sounds.
Uh, but I liked it up at back an octave. But anyway, the whole point is, is uh, this is a good way to combine MIDI synthesizers, VSTI instruments, all in one track without eating up separate tracks. And uh, <laughs> like I say, if you want to get back to it, you click on the icon, you get your control right here. But that's the Personas Splitter that you get with Studio One Pro. And I use it quite a bit here just for a quick layering. I like to put my piano and strings together or if I'm doing a choir patch or something like that, I can put a couple of different choirs together rather than eating up four channels of choir. Just go ahead and put them all on that. Same with string patches. If I want to put a bass and viola, cello, and violins all on one track. And then I can have the control, like I say, individually between the instruments, but it's just down to one track. That's it. But that's the uh, tip of the day for today, the Persona Splitter. And you guys remember to subscribe. I appreciate it very much. We'll talk to you the next one. Later.